So any of you guys have kids out there? I know Ashley has kids. I know Amy has kids. I don't know if you, you guys have kids. I don't know how many of you have kids at home. But over the last few years, I learned about this app called Snapchat, which maybe you guys have heard. Any Snapchat users here? Maybe we got some youngins. Maybe some of you guys are using Snapchat. Not me. I don't use Snapchat. I downloaded it for five minutes and then deleted it. I'm like, this is not for me. But my kids use Snapchat. And the way I found out about Snapchat was I saw my kids taking these like stupid random pictures. Like they take a picture of the couch and then they'd post it on social media and then they'd take a picture of the carpet and they'd post it on social media and then they'd take a picture of the ceiling and they'd post it on social media and I'm like what the heck are you doing and they said well we're sending snaps this is how we communicate as as our generation we we have to send a picture to send a snap and I'm like well sending a picture of our couch is not really communicating why are you doing that and they said well this gives you a reward for the number of days in a row that you have not missed sending a friend a snap so rather than take like nice, good pictures. They just want to get the picture done quickly. So they'll just like turn the phone and take it and snap it, turn the phone and take it and snap it. Streaks. That's right. Amy says streaks. That's what they're called. Streaks. And I'm like, wait a minute. So you're telling me that you're taking stupid pictures and sending them to your friend simply because you're getting rewarded with a, like a, a score on a video game. And they're like, well, yeah. And I was like, how, how big are some of these streaks? And they started telling me about some of their friends at school that had like streaks of over 10,000 stupid, worthless, useless pictures <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's driven me nuts as a dad, like seeing my kids do this. Cause I'm like, it's a total waste of time. One of the things that we like to believe is true is the quote from Napoleon Hill, where he said, and every parent setback lies the seed of an equal or greater advantage. So I'm thinking about this streak thing. And I'm like, why is this working for getting people motivated to continue to, to do something? And I thought of this other app that I have used over the years. And what it is, is it's a habit tracker. And what it does is every time you, you put in the habit that you want to develop and then you log in and every time you do the task or the habit you click it and it goes and then the little box turns green and then you do it again the next day and then the second box goes and then it turns green and it gives you this visual representation of how many days in a row you've completed that discipline and it will give you a total number and like little celebratory congrats like hey you're on a roll you're 10 days in a row of messaging prospects or you're 10 days in a row of doing this thing or that thing and you can set up whatever habits it is that you want to develop. And so we were taking all these ideas and thinking about the Let's Goal app and thinking also about how one of the problems with developing a new discipline, and by the way, one of my favorite quotes on discipline comes from Jim Rohn, where he said, discipline is the bridge from thought to accomplishment. So the things that you do daily, John Maxwell said something to the effect of your life will never change until you change the things that you do daily, like these habits that you develop that you do consistently. And success seems to require good, positive, healthy habits done continuously over an extended period of time. Now, the problem I've noticed with both myself and also others in developing a new discipline is oftentimes there's not a reward for doing the thing you know you need to do, there's not an immediate reward. Like let's say you haven't worked out in a long time and you're like, oh, I wanna work out. And then so you get up and you go to the gym and you work out or you get on the treadmill or whatever. And then you get done and you look in the mirror and you're like, man, I'm still fat. Like what the heck? You know, like this was pain that I just put myself through and I didn't get a reward. If you have the vision of where you're going and that vision can pull you forward and you can keep doing those things over and over and over. Same with business, right? You get started in a business and you reach out to a few people and they say, no, 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 no. And you're like, ah, oh, this is pain. Where's my reward? Like, how come I'm not making all the money I want to be making? It's because that reward oftentimes is cast out into the future and we're required to do things consistently that may or may not give us an immediate reward. And so I think that's part of the reason why we all sometimes have problems developing new discipline. Well, what if there were a way that you could do the thing you know you needed to do and be rewarded for doing it immediately, like the day of, and then also what if you could be punished for missing a day. Well, that's exactly what this thing does. When you record your daily task, it celebrates you. It gives you an audible feedback. It gives you a visual representation of your progress. And then you start to build this streak, right? And then if you miss a day, you're going to lose your streak and you're going to go all the way back to zero and that's going to suck. And you're not going to want to do that, right? Like I don't want to lose my streaks. I don't know about you guys, especially on the things I'm doing well. So that's the idea behind this, this 
this enhancement and I'll probably turn it over to Mike to give you a demo because he's the king of demos. Yeah, and actually I thought this was super powerful because over the weekend, there was one day where I just didn't care about my calorie goal. That was one of my tasks that I had the streak on. And I thought it was funny because I thought about just not tracking that day. And then I was like, wait a minute, I have this little streak going. And it actually made me think about it, which is what you want, right? You want to keep your habit going. And so I thought that was pretty powerful. And it's actually good too, if you think about it. Like if you write down habits that will enhance your life, that's a good thing. Now there might be a time when I get to the, my goal weight that I'm not going to track calories anymore and I'll just take that off my habit tracker. But anyway, I just thought I would throw that out there. It's actually already helping me over the weekend and it's only started just barely. So anyway, I'll show you just a quick demo of it. And here is when you log in to Let's Goal and you've already done your morning routine or you skipped it, just get to the screen here. But you're gonna see your tasks over here and this is not anything different. You can set up most valuable MVPs, you can set up health tasks and that's what it has always been. But here's a new feature and I'm just gonna add one real quick. So when you click on add, you can add, I'm just gonna do a, let's just say webinar. I'm gonna do a daily webinar. This this is one enhancement here. You can now choose which day you want it to repeat on. So if you want to do a webinar, let's just say daily, and maybe you don't want to do anything on Saturday and Sunday. So you just do Monday through Friday. I'm going to do a webinar. I'm not going to say marketing video, marketing short, and I'm going to put this under work or you can put it under MVP or whatever. These are, there's other categories here, which you can do. And then I'm just going to click on save. And so now under the work tasks, you're going to see this task and it says due today because that's a repeating task. And so here's what happens now when I click on I'm done. So let's say I do my marketing short video. I get some confetti. It says great job. Oh, how satisfying. <laughs> you're on a one day streak. You've completed this one time marketing short. Let's go. And then I just click that. And then down here, look at this. Now it has your habits that are repeating. And so right there, the marketing short video, one day streak. And then tomorrow when I knock it off again. So like today I did CrossFit, I actually did it right before this webinar. So I'm going to click on CrossFit and I actually have CrossFit set for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So it's, so I don't have to do it every day. It's just whatever days that I decide I want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and knock that off. Boom. I'm on a two day streak there. So, cause I did it on Friday and I did it on today. So now I'm on a two day streak for CrossFit. And what's cool about this is like, sometimes these habit trackers out there, if you don't do it every single day, you lose your streak. Well, we can do it on the days we want to do it. So if I want to do a marketing video Monday through Friday, I don't have to work on the weekends and lose my streak. So that's a cool little feature there. So that's the update in a nutshell. I'm just super excited about it. And I actually do want to show you, it actually looks pretty cool when you open up this app on your phone. And I'm just going to show it to you real quick right here. So check this out. So when you're in your app on your phone and I click habits, it's right there on my phone and I can see them. I can go to tasks and I can knock them off on my phone as well. So anyway, I just think it's pretty cool. This is a great enhancement. It'll help us hit our goals much faster and stay on track. That's the key. So anything else, Paul? Yeah. And then just another thing to be aware of the, the green bar, this just so happened to be 30 days. So there are many people that say it takes 30 days to get a new habit it going. So the initial goal will be, can I get my green bar all the way across? And then once it's all the way across, it'll just stay green and then it'll continue to track your streak right above the bar. So you'll be able to see a visual representation of the habits that you've solidified and it will continue to count that streak. The other thing that we had Brandon put in was it's also going to count a total number of times completed. And the reason for that is if you happen to lose a streak and your green bar goes back to zero and your streak goes back to zero, it's still going to show you the total number of times you've completed the task. And this will just be like a, a little reminder of, hey, I've actually actually crushed it pretty well. Like I've done 300 emails or I've worked out 150 times or so I think it'll be just some good positive motivation. And so, yeah, I think that's it. And then the other thing, like Mike said, due today, that's cool. If it's due tomorrow, if I had it set to come up tomorrow, it'll say due tomorrow. So it's a little reminder of when your tasks are coming up. And just in the couple of days that I've been using, it's had a huge impact on me. I've thought of other things that I want to do. Like today I added make my bed and clean for at least 10 minutes a day so I can keep my space 
clean. And now I'm excited to get that streak going. And there's no limit to what we can do and who we can become if we're disciplined. And I think this is going to help a ton. Francisco says, what's the penalty when you don't do it? Well, your streak is going to go to zero. And that green bar that you've been accumulating is going to disappear. And now you start all over with your streak. So that's the penalty. So tough. I know, right? It's painful. Nobody wants to lose their streaks. So yeah, that's it. What do you guys think? Have any of you used it yet? I know it's like early days. We just put it in this weekend, but I'd love to hear feedback if you've used Awesome. Yeah. And this is just a great way to actually have something useful. Uh, he was saying people are taking dumb photos and posting it on Snapchat for their streaks. Well, now you can actually do something positive in your life and something that will move your business forward or your health forward. And you don't have to do, if you don't want it to be tracked as a streak, you could just do it as a task without the repeating days. So that's still there. Yep. Linda says, love this feature. TJ says, love it. I'm so happy you guys like it. And I, I promise you, as you use this, I'm guessing you're going to fall in love with it. Like I am falling in love with it. Like I literally cannot live my day without this planning my day, like seeing my reminders of all the things I'm supposed to do. Cause we forget, like I forget, I, there's one on there that I was supposed to do this morning that I forgot, but it's on there. So I'm going to do it after the webinar. So it's just a really amazing tool to keep you on track. <laughs>